supposed to wear? <laughs> We're getting closer to Chattanooga. We're in the car. It's March the 10th, and it's a little this is, this too is cold. Incredibly unsafe. It's this not is, incredibly no, unsafe. It is. This is what people show when they die in a car crash that they were too busy taking selfies and posting them. Okay. I'm not comfortable with this. Let me just let me drive. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. Okay. I'll let you drive in a little bit, but we're right now in the state of Tennessee, Southern Tennessee. And we, and we keep going down the path of unsafety. Children, March do the, not do what your dad's doing. It's March the 10th. It's a little too cold to be able to fish in St. Louis. So you know what we decided to do? Can't we just do this like when you're on the passenger side? We decided to go to Florida. That makes it sound like that was a last minute decision. <laughs> well, we decided to go to Florida over Christmas time. Because <laughs> also back there are Nick and Jake. Because it's spring break. And we're very excited to be able to go fishing in Central Florida. We're heading to Winter Haven. We've got a house for rental that we got off of Verbo. And uh, we're about to have some fun. So stick around. Let's do some vlogging together and have some fun. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my God. We're, <laughs> I'm not we're here. We're here. <laughs> Dick just ran out of the room. We're here. It is vlog time. We're no, vlogging. Yes, it is. It's vlog time. There's Nick. Nick's sleep. Yes, it is. It's vlog time. Good morning. Guess what? We're in Atlanta. We're on our way to Central Florida because it's too cold to fish in St. Louis. And <clears throat> we're about to uh, catch some big bass starting tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. So it's spring break. The boys are off. We're on our way. And I'll be back soon to show you some big fish. In Florida, and guess where we are? Look where we are. I'm so excited. Kath, are you excited? I'm excited. Look at where we are. We've come to one of my favorite stores in the world to get ready to fish this week. See you soon. Hey, I'm just sitting here um, outside of a Jersey Mike Subs. We're, we stopped in here to get lunch. Uh, so Kathy and Jake and Nick uh, all three went in to get Subway sandwiches, and I'm waiting out here with the truck and the boat. And we're about two hours and 40 minutes from our location. So we're going to grab a bite, eat it in the car, and get back on the road. Bass Pro Shops turned out to have everything we needed. We picked up some chatterbaits, some, um, some ribbit frogs. Um, uh, we got a tape measure. We got some oil for the bow. Just the basic necessities. Uh, a couple things we were missing in a tackle box. A couple things for the boat. Uh, so we're all set on supplies now and um, so after uh, another couple hours we should be at our location don't know if we'll get to fish today or not uh, kind of depends on how much sunlight we have when we get there um, but either way uh, we're planning on having a good time here it is we got out here Nick just threw his second cast and look what he caught we haven't weighed it yet but I'm telling you this is a good sign. This is a good sign. It wasn't the first cast, it was the second cast. This is a very good sign. Nice fish. Nice job, Nick. Okay, all right, nice and easy. Let them down in the water. Let's watch them swim off. Very nice. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Beautiful release. All right, daddy got his first fish. He's not too big. He'd be a keeper in Missouri, but Nick Nick lost one a little bit earlier. It looked like a big boy. And we just came up the, the lake a little bit and found this guy. So I'm on the board at least. I'm happy. All right, let's let you go, bud. All right, son. I think the fish, I think the trick is to stay out here in the deeper water. 
throw into them. Jake just caught a nice one on the uh, June bug colored Cinco. You can show them to, oh, you, you still get them off the hook. Give them the pliers. Got it? Yeah, baby, just hold them up for the camera. Okay, look at this, it's beautiful out here. It's day two, it's really cold this morning. Um, we uh, did not fish late into the day yesterday because there was, there was a wind advisory and it was really, really, really windy. Uh, there was a little bit of a cold front that's coming, so we're hoping it doesn't affect the bass too much. But um, Jake and I are out right now, we're just heading out into the main lake and uh, we're getting ready to uh, try some top water and we'll see if that works. We don't know if the cold weather is gonna work or not. Um, but look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, not bad for March. And uh, hopefully we'll catch some fish and be back soon to show them to your video. It's about what? 53 degrees. I'm just vlogging here. It's about 53 degrees. Um, lost one fish. Jake caught a couple earlier this morning. I lost a nice one at the boat. Um, just didn't have the hook hard enough. I don't think I set the hook hard enough. I'm not sure why. But um, I've never seen so many lily pads in my life. I mean, look at this. a huge huge set of lily pads and you can get into some pockets a little bit as you can see there's some pockets but they get really thick as you get deeper and deeper in there so the other thing is we're trying to avoid uh, wind the wind is pretty tough out here today we're doing our best to avoid um, the wind to the extent we're able to so we found a uh, an area back here we're gonna head up into hopefully we'll, there'll be some fish up here and it, it won't be quite such a harsh um, harsh environment with the wind. This is where we're headed up, up into this area here. I'll turn them sideways so I can see his side. See the side of him. No, no, hang him up uh, straight up and down. But I don't want to look at his belly. There we go. Look at that. Now we get a good good look at him. Yeah, let me get a picture. That hook, baby. Yeah, son. Son. Still nervous, I want to say. Yes, sir. That's a fish. That's a good looking fish. All right. Better yet. Yeah, daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice Hold, on. Hold on. Let me go ahead and release him. Nice and respectful. Oh, he just took off on you. Nice catch, man. Nice catch. Back from Lake Howard, Jake kicked Nick's ass and my ass handily. He picked up. Did you get three fish? Two and lost one. Two and lost one. We're coming through the canal right now. We got a couple more of these coming through before we uh, get back to our lake where our, our, our. Before we get back to the lake where our boat is. Lake May.
this is the first one of the day. First one of the day. Uh, this is on the little lake that Monty took us to uh, last July. And we were throwing shiners over there, um, but we just can't seem to find any fish on the in internal grass lines. So we just keep fishing the, uh, instead we just keep fishing the lily pads and the visible grass line. We gotta turn around, hold on. This is the first one of the day, hopefully we catch more and we're gonna let them go. See you later, bub. Off he goes.
Good fish. Good hook set, too. Good hook set. Good hook set. You know how hard you have to You're supposed to cooperate with my vlog. <laughs> that was two days ago. <laughs> I'm not you have to cooperate now. with I'm not vlog. Shit now. <laughs> All right. I have to say what's going on. We just finished fishing on Lake Chicka. What's it called? Lake Chicka Chicka Wangwa. We're that family, not Christ. We're we we just finished fishing on Lake Chicka Wangwa. And give me this thing. So any so anyway. Kathy thinks that's funny when I vlog. So anyway. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Dad, you look like a 16 year old girl getting ready to take a selfie. Which is Melter And Nick lost an absolutely huge fish. And he's looking for somebody to blame. So we have to pull the video, and I'm gonna show it to you. Someone else was supposed to have a net, and no one was there. I'm gonna show, we're gonna look at the video together on our vlog, and we're gonna see whether or not it was somebody else's fault. And we'll also see how big the fish really was.
We are back in town. We are at Terre de Lac, and guess what? We just checked the lake levels, and they're full. Aren't you excited, Kev? I'm super excited. You know why? Because in about three weeks, we're going to be at pre-spawn stage, just like that other... Oh, look at the kids are hiding from us. Just like, just like that other lake down there in Tennessee was, and we're going to be catching some monsters.